Yo, what is good? Happy New Year, happy 2024. So today the fishing conditions are less than ideal. It's 36 degrees currently here in Florida. So I'm gonna forego fishing this morning and I'm gonna take this opportunity to start integrating some fitness into this channel. It's 2024, it's a new year. I wanna challenge myself and put out some different types of content and be able to put out more content raise value and what I do put out. The thing with the fishing is I want to share share the good vibes, but I also, you know, want to educate and help you guys elevate your game on the water. So, I have a lot of knowledge in the fitness industry as well. It's not something I seek external validation for like you see on social media a lot. It's been near and dear to my heart since I was probably 14 years old. That's when I got my first weight set and I played all sorts of sports before then. So this is something that I know a lot about and I just want to share knowledge in this area. And I thought it's 2024. There's a lot of people that probably have some fitness aspirations for this year. Maybe you want to lose weight. Maybe you want to get stronger and put on muscle. Maybe you're female and you just want to tone up a little bit for the year. I thought the perfect way to integrate fitness into what's been a primarily fishing channel up to this point is to show you some sports specific exercises. So sports specific meaning that these exercises I'm going to show you today will carry over to your fishing game. So it'll be things to strengthen certain areas that you use a lot in fishing. Maybe it's posture related. Um, so things that will carry over to being on a boat, being on a kayak, fishing from the shoreline, all of the movements that you make in fishing, these exercises can help you in that. A little background on my credentials here, I'm not just some fisherman that wants to start talking about fitness. I've been certified since 2013. I've been an avid gym goer and athlete since, since I could walk. So I played sports growing up. I first started lifting when I was about 14 years old. I got certified when I was about 20 years old. I did that for a time. I don't currently train professionally, but I go to the gym six or seven days a week, almost no days off. I absolutely love it. I love pushing through uh, barriers. I love just breaking into the other side and just surprising yourself on what you're capable of. A lot of knowledge, experience, and expertise in this area. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of give it to you as it comes to me. And uh, today we're gonna start with some exercises that will help you out on the boat, kayak, or shoreline to be a better fisherman and make it more enjoyable to have a more overall enjoyable fishing experience. So let's go. Thank you for stopping in. Hit that subscribe button. It's 2024, baby. We're doing big things this year. I've got a lot cooking and I'm gonna let it let you know as it unfolds further and further. I haven't even mentioned that I'm a captain. I've got my captain's credentials. Things are rolling on that front. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on that, but today it's about fitness. So we're gonna work on some things to help us make more dangerous anglers. These fish don't stand a chance. 2024, baby. A big part about being successful this year, whether it's fitness or fishing related, is going to be about patterns and habits. So it's the beginning of the year. You want to start new patterns and habits that are going to get you where you're going in four, six, eight months, a year from now. So it's going to be new, just like me vlogging this right now. This is new for me, but it's going to be a new pattern, new habit for me for 2024. So. To start off here, do a warm up of some sort. I'll normally walk on the treadmill for five to 10 minutes and then I'll, and kind of get in sync with my body and start getting that focus more inward. You know, focusing on my posture, my body position, and kind of start thinking about what I'm gonna do workout wise. So I just wanted to put that in your ear. New patterns and habits. You guys might not go to the gym right now at all. You might not really know what you're gonna do. You may have a whole gang of excuses on why you're not going. As a personal trainer, I could pick up an excuse the instant someone started to tell it to me. So everybody has their excuse. Oh, I don't have time. Oh, I gotta do this. Oh, I got a bad knee. Fit it into your schedule. New patterns, new habits. If you want a new you, 2024. And that applies to everything. That's not just the gym. That's not just fishing. That's business. That's relationships. So you gotta be aware of your habits and patterns. So if you guys wanna take a look at what I do here warm up wise, I'll walk just casually for about five minutes and then to just kind of dial up the mind and get it in touch, get loose, get warm, get the heart rate up just a little bit more. 
I'll do some side steps here. Maybe jog a little bit in place. Some light shadow boxing, big fan of boxing. And I'm gonna rotate in a full circle. So we'll hit them this way. And I'm not overdoing it. Maybe 15, 20 seconds. Jog backwards. We got our, uh, we got our cleaning man. Come on, buddy. Unforeseen things will happen. <laughs> Gotta roll with them. All right, so if you've ever done a good bit of vertical jigging and you get on that big AJ bite, you know the forearms are gonna get taxed. Or if you're fighting any big fish for any length of time, those forearms are gonna be feeling it. Every real angler knows when they've fought a big fish for a while, they've gotta switch hands. So these right here, don't get too busy with the movement. Some movements are gonna be smaller than others. So I'm not overextending my wrists either way. I'm not gonna go super heavy on these, but this is a great movement to train your forearms. So when you're fighting that shark from the beach, that amberjack on the jig, that tuna 70 miles out, you're ready for it. As far as tempo, you can keep the tempo. You know, I've, I've got a good, like smooth tempo right here. With certain exercises, I'll get more explosive on the way up. So explosive, pause, down slow. And that's a great tempo for maximal hypertrophy. So if you're looking to get big, that's not something I typically do on these, but different tempos can create different results. I like nice and smooth on these. All right, so I've got some tens on each side here. And all these exercises I'm showing you today, again, it can kind of vary on how you're feeling. But most sets today, I'm going to do three sets at a progressive overload. So what that means is that first set, I'm going to do 10 reps. I'm going to add weight. And on the second set, I'm going to do eight reps. Then I'm going to add weight. And on that third set, do six. And sometimes I might do four or five sets and go all the way down to two reps. All right, so today was mainly back and biceps for me. So I tried to think of the fishing related things I could do for back and biceps. This right here is a good isolation movement. It's known as the preacher's curl. So nice and slow on the way down. This is where I'll change that tempo up and I'll generally slow stretch on the way down and then more explosive on the way up. Pause at the top. This right here that I'm about to say can carry over into any exercise. You don't wanna to get to the top of a rep and just immediately drop it. That's a different contraction. That's called an isometric contraction. So that two or three second pause has benefits to it. And typically when you're lowering a weight, you're 40% stronger. So that's the eccentric part of the movement right there. When you're extending the muscle fiber. So you wanna get the most out of that by going slower. And then the concentric is the way up. That's where muscle fiber is shortening. So on the way up, that's concentric. All right, so why I like these right here, these are called rack pulls. And the nice thing about a rack pull is you start with the weight a little bit higher up. So the weight isn't gonna strain your knees as much. This is great for the glutes, the erectors, which is the lower back, and also great for the traps. So when you're pulling that big dog out of the water, you just hoist them up like a boss. Nothing to it. Another one on deck. <laughs> Let's go. So each exercise, I have a, few, a little checklist that I go through mentally. On these, I'm thinking about having my heels hip width. My toes are naturally pointed outward a little bit so I can squeeze through the glutes, squeeze the back and keep the traps still. So you don't want to overcomplicate a movement is what I'm getting at. So get everything set. Then heels, right? Main pressure right in the heels. And then no momentum.
Also good for the forearms. <sighs> All right, so these are called hammer crows and I'm doing it on a rope attachment. <sighs> Keep that chest up. These are good for the top of the forearm, the outer head of the biceps, and you'll get a good static hold in your traps as well. <sighs> Shout out to Brandy at Gold's Gym helping me out here. But these are good for the biceps, the top of the forearm, picking big fish up out of the water. Every, everybody's seen that hold up where you're holding the, holding the fish right here. So those help the biceps for that. All right, so one of the reasons this exercise is so great is because a lot of times on a boat or a kayak, you're gonna be twisting in awkward positions to try and land a fish. So you may be reaching over yourself, backing away, trying to get the fish out of the water. Maybe you're hung up on something and you have to reach for it. So these right here are great for stabilizing the core, stabilizing the upper back. It's a good static hold in your shoulder complex. It's gonna make your scapula more secure and balanced so this is a great movement for athleticism and posture it's going to help you stand up straighter lots of times you'll find yourself on a boat or kayak having to bend in awkward directions to try and get what you're trying to get done and just kind of firm up your shoulder complex get your shoulders situated and keep them there You got a big dog next to your kayak, you want to be able to hoist that bitch up too. <laughs> Let's go. Again, happy new year to you guys. Come into 2024 swinging. Do some different things. Challenge yourself, create a new healthy pattern, a new healthy habit. <sighs> Stop sitting around on the couch. Stop living by all these excuses you tell yourself. 2024, let's go. So we're gonna call that a day right there. That's a handful of exercises that will carry over into fishing for you this year, keep you from getting injured, help make fishing more enjoyable. You know, you'll be able to pull heavy fish up and get out of sticky situations more easily. Take care of your body, you've only got one. My stepdad actually blew his rotator out last year, uh, setting the hook on a red snapper. So little things like that can uh, really set you back in your fishing. One of, his, one of his first thoughts and the things that he disliked most about that time period while his rotator was out was, oh man, I can't fish. So if you do some things like this, there's some preventative measures to keep you from hurting a shoulder, hurting your back, whatever it may be. So that was kind of a culmination of exercises that are good for that. Let me know what you thought. I, can, I could have gone way more into detail, but I just kind of wanted to show you the exercises. And that's new for me. I don't make fitness videos traditionally. I, that's kind of like my thing. And I know it's huge on social media. Um, but I wanted to share that. I have a lot of knowledge and expertise when it comes to this stuff. And so if you have any questions on anything, let me know. I know a lot of people will ask, but well, what do I eat after my workout? On the drive home, enjoying a banana. That's kind of my go-to. As soon as I walk out of the gym, I'm replenishing the glycogen and uh, glucose that I just burnt in there and getting those stored back up for the next workout or next fishing trip. So something you're gonna find and that I'm gonna repeat a lot and touch base on is I'm showing you things you can do in the gym, but something that is way bigger than that especially if you're overweight and trying to lose weight is going to be your nutrition what you're putting in your body and your eating habits again back to the patterns and habits so reevaluate what you're doing with your food what kinds of food how much your portions things like that so i'm going to show you some exercises but you've got to do the right thing at home as far as your food to get into good shape so Make it a goal to get in the best shape of your life, 2024. So this one's for my go-getters out there that are trying to level up this year, 2024. Go do big things, go do difficult things. When you do difficult tasks and overcome them, you build a sense of inner pride, self-esteem, esteem built within yourself. So, and the feeling you get after the gym is unlike any other, really. 
and as soon as it gets a little bit nicer and i'll fish in 30 degree weather don't get me wrong i'm die hard hardcore like that i like fishing in some extreme conditions but i do this every single day i go to the gym every single day so i figure i might as well share a little bit about what i know and help you guys get going on your 2024 goals appreciate you guys see you in that next video